Biodiversity. The term biodiversity encompasses the variety of all life on earth. It is defined as the variability among living organisms and the ecological complexes of which they are part including diversity within and between species and ecosystem. Biodiversity manifests at species, genetic and ecosystem levels. Conceptually, biodiversity is the following three types. Species diversity, genetic diversity, ecosystem diversity. Species diversity, the diversity of organism at the broadest level is, in fact, the species diversity in other words, in ranges from the microorganism to the human beings. Genetic diversity, every organism is recognized by its genetic structure which remains to be exclusive for that organism. In other words, organisms differentiated on the basics of their genetic variability constitute the genetic diversity. Ecosystem The diversity of organisms showing ecological complexities in the ecosystem is called ecosystem diversity. It signifies various types of interactions such as positive, negative or neutral. As discussed earlier, ecosystem diversity explains both the structural and functional components of an ecosystem. Significance of biodiversity Human interests for conserving biological diversity are based on the following reasons. To obtain varieties of food materials, agriculture and medicinal purpose for future resources, ecological restoration for better technological prospects. Recent advancement in the field of biotechnology have generated hopes for a better agriculture. Biological diversity has direct consumptive value in food, agriculture, medicine, industry, etc. It also has aesthetic and recreational value. Biodiversity maintain ecological balance and con continue. Evolutionary processes. The indirect ecosystem Service provided through biodiversity are photosynthesis, pollination, transpiration, chemical cycling, nutrient cycling, soil maintenance, climate regulation, air, water system management, waste treatment, and pest per control. India is one of the 12 mega biodiversity countries of the world from about 70% of the total geographical area surveyed. So far, 46,000 plant species and 81,000 animal species have been described. Conservation of Biodiversity In situ conservation This is the conservation of biodiversity through their maintenance within natural or even human-made ecosystem in which they occur. This type of includes the system protects areas in different categories managed with a different objective to bring benefit to the society. National parks sanctuaries, national reserve, national monuments, cultural landscapes, biosphere, reserves, etc. belong to the type of conservation. Ex situ conservation, this is the type of conservation lies outside their habitat by perpetuate sample population and genetic resources center, zoos, botanical gardens, genes, pools and gamete storage for fish, germplasm, blanks for seeds, pollen, semen, ova, cells, etc. Plants are more readily maintained than animals in this type of conservation. Seeds, banks, botanical gardens, pollen storage, tissue, culture and genetic engineering have been playing important role. In situ conservation of wildlife includes a comprehensive system of protected areas. There are different categories of protected areas which are managed with different objectives for bringing benefits to the society. This includes the national parks, sanctuaries, biosphere reserves, natural reserves, natural monuments and cultural landscapes, etc. A sanctuary is an area where killing or capturing of any species of bird or animal is prohibited except <coughs> under the order of the contempt authority and whose boundaries of character should be Sacron sand as far as possible as sanctuary is a whole or portion of a reserved or protected forest as declared by the government. A national park is an area dedicated by statute 
for all time to conserve flora and fauna and historical objects and national significance and wildlife and where provision is made for the enjoyment of the same by public india became a party to the international convention on biological diversity in may 1994 the three objectives of the conservation convention are conservation of biological diversity sustainable use of component of biological diversity and fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of the utilization of genetic resources the scheme of biodiversity conservation was initiated during 1991 to 1992 ensure coordination among variation agencies dealing with issues relating to conservation of biodiversity and to review monitor and evolve adequate policy instrument for the same clause for loss of diversity degradation and destruction of habitats due to the colonization and clearing of forest areas of settlement of agricultural expansion commercial exploitation high risk schemes fire human and livestock pressure etc hunting and over exploitation mainly for commercial and often illegal purpose introduction of exotic species accidentally or deliberately that threaten native flora and fauna directly by predation of or by competition and also indirectly by altering the natural habitat of introducing diseases pollution and poisoning stress or ecosystem due to global warming sustainable climate from given species is changed putting pressure on species with regard to their adaptability thus making them vulnerable to extinction fire improper use of agrochemical and pesticides increased in human population inequal land distribution and economic and political policies and constraints conservation of biological diversity the following steps could be taken for the conservation of biological diversity integration of strategies of biodiversity conservation with those of national development fair and equitable sharing of benefits uh, derived from the search and development and use of biodiversity considering uh, the importance of biodiversity special emphasis of people's participation especially women for sustainable use of biological resource cooperation at national regional and international level rehabilitation of damages damaged ecosystem and recovery of endangered species conservation and sustainable use of biological resources through in situ and ex situ conservation special steps for in situ conservation of coastal ecosystems such as mangroves coral reefs and estuaries efforts for better surveys data collection sampling evaluation and maintenance of gene banks the national park is created by the legislative action and can be abrogated or modified by legislature of the state concerned there were about 1 and 12 national parks and 515 sanctuaries in india the national policy and action strategy of biodiversity which seeks to consolidate the ongoing efforts of conservation and sustainable use of biological diversity and to the establishment of a policy and program regime for the purpose was released by the ministry of 6 january 2000 the biodiversity bill 2000 was introduced in parliament in 2000 biodiversity bill 2000 prohibit transfer of indian genetic material outside the country without approval of indian government patent or other intellectual property right over such material or even related knowledge can only be taken after seeing a permission in advance provides for charges or appropriate fees and royalties on <coughs> such transfer and ipr regulates access to such material by indian nationals also to stop over exploitation provide for sharing or benefits or various kinds including transfer for technology monetary refunds joint r and d venture capital funds and joint ipr ownership
provides a measure for habit and species protection provides for a protection of indigenous knowledge through the appropriation legislation administrative steps such as registration at local and national level provides for designation of institution as repositories of biological resources etc indian efforts on biodiversity conversation national policy and action strategy of biodiversity emphasizing the need for conservation and analyzing the provision of the international convention on biological diversity cbd was released during the year an outline of biodiversity legislation aiming at regulating access to biological resources and for equitable sharing of benefits for such access resources has been prepared